Hi, and welcome back. Simple AM or amplitude modulation is used all the time, but audio rate AM is a less known trick that can add interesting dynamics and textures to your sound using just simple tools. It can expand the wave shapes of simple oscillators, create complex dynamic wave shaping, and interesting FM and ring mod like textures like this. And this and this. For this video, I will use my Nano Synth Voice again. If you have been watching the channel, you've seen this already, but if you haven't, you can watch the videos here if you'd like to learn more about why I like and use this setup. As always, if you'd like to support my videos or you want to get access to PDF sheets with hundreds of patch ideas I used in my videos, have a look at my Patreon. You can also support my channel through affiliate links in the video description. But now, let's dive right in. AM stands for Amplitude Modulation, and you're using it anytime you use a voltage-controlled amplifier to control the amplitude of a signal. For example, here you see a simple oscillator filter VCA synth voice. When a keyboard or sequencer is used to gate an envelope, and that envelope is modulating the VCA, that's Amplitude Modulation. The envelope is modulating the amplitude, or in other words, the volume of the sound. Here's another example where an LFO is sent through another VCA before modulating the filter. When something like a second LFO is used to modulate the VCA, that's AM again. The second LFO is modulating the amplitude, or in other words, the strength of the first LFO. That is a great trick to create dynamic modulation, an interesting topic on its own. But today I want to focus on audio rate AM to create complex sounds. This can be done by sending a waveform output of an oscillator directly into a VCA, and then use another audio rate signal to modulate that VCA. This can be an alternate waveform of the same oscillator, which creates new wave shapes, or another oscillator with its own audio rate frequency. To visualize how this works, here is a quick simple example with a saw wave used as the input for the VCA when a square or other waveform of that same oscillator is used to modulate the VCA, the input saw wave has its amplitude modulated within its own cycle. This leads to a new wave shape. When you use a second oscillator with a different frequency, for example the square wave you see here, even more complex signals are created. Often both frequencies of the input and modulator are audible in the resulting wave shape. So just experiment with different input and modulator wave shapes and frequencies. In this video, I number the used VCAs so you know which VCA I'm tweaking. I'll call this VCA 1, this 2, 3, and the fourth one is here as well, with a signal and CV input and output, but it doesn't have any controls. In most cases though, finding the right balance between the manual offset and modulation amount is key for nice sounds. So, experiment with the VCA settings in your patches. Let's start with a few simple single oscillator patches. Here's the most basic concept. Two waveforms of a single oscillator are used. One is sent to the input of a VCA used for audio rate amplitude modulation, or in other words, wave shaping of the input waveform. For drastic results, use a soft shape like a sine or triangle as the input. This first VCA won't be used to control the overall volume of the sound, so another VCA is added at the end to do regular amplitude modulation in the future, or in this case add manual volume control. A second alternate waveform of the oscillator is used to modulate VCA1. Using different waveforms will result in different new wave shapes and thus different sounds.
that's still a bit boring, so let's expand that into a simple voice. Instead of modulating the first VCA directly, the second waveform output is sent through yet another VCA first, and then on to modulate the input waveform. A sequencer is used to create a melodic voice and trigger an envelope modulating VCA3 for volume control. A copy of the envelope is used to modulate VCA2 as well, to control the depth of the self-modulation. This creates a voice with a lot of control dynamics that doesn't really need a filter. Of course, you can replace the envelope with something like an LFO to create continuous movement to the wave shape. and add to this concept as much as you like. Here is the same basic voice, but this time two different alternate waveforms from the main oscillator are sent to two VCAs. In this setup, a saw wave and sub octave output are used. Both VCAs are modulated with free running LFOs and the result is mixed together before modulating VCA1. Audio Rate AM gets more interesting when you expand the setup with a few more basic ingredients. Let's start with this simple setup again to give you a feeling for the raw sound. Here, a second oscillator is used to modulate VCA1. Using different waveforms for the input and modulation oscillator will lead to different results, as will playing with different oscillator tunings, of course. The sounds created are reminding of ring mod and sync like sounds, but they're still different. Here's the dual oscillator setup, but again with a VCA after the modulation oscillator. A sequencer and envelope are used to turn this into a voice, and a copy of the envelope is used to modulate VCA2. Note that the sequencer is only tuning the main oscillator. Thank you. 
untuned modulation oscillator will lead to more raw and beating sounds. But you can send a copy of the 1V per octave sequence to the second oscillator if you like the harmonic ratio between the two oscillators to be maintained. With a second oscillator, you can add frequency modulation to the mix for added depth in the voice. Here's the same setup as the previous patch, but a copy of the sequencer's gate signal is used to trigger a second, even faster and plucky envelope. That envelope is used to modulate the frequency of the second oscillator. With these short envelope settings, this adds a percussive transient. Here's the same patch, slowed down and with slow envelope settings. There's also a bit more space in the middle to perform a trick we used before. A second waveform output of the modulator oscillator is sent to another VCA, modulated with an LFO. The outputs of VCAs 2 and 4 are mixed before modulating the first. This is a more noisy drone setup with some added delay. You can try other tricks in the book with FM. Here is a similar bass patch as used before, but this time a copy or alternate wave output of the main oscillator is sent to a VCA and on to modulate the frequency of the second oscillator. The second envelope isn't modulating the frequency directly, but instead controlling the amount of frequency modulation from one oscillator to the other. Just like in the other patches though, the second oscillator is used for wave shaping only. I kept the delay on for this one. All previous patches were without the use of a filter, but of course all those ideas can add interesting textures and grid to a regular synth voice with filter as well. Here's a simple voice with a wave shaping VCA patched after the oscillator and before the filter. A second oscillator is used to modulate the first VCA directly. The sequencer is only tuning the first oscillator at the beginning of the audio demo, but a copy is sent to tune the second oscillator later as well. Each has their own sound. The envelope is modulating both the filter and end of chain VCA for volume control. You can experiment and expand on voices as much as you like. Here's the same setup, but a mixer is added before the first VCA. You can mix multiple waveforms together before shaping them. For example, in this case, a sine wave from the main oscillator is mixed with a sub-oscillator from the second. The regular triangle from the second oscillator is sent through a VCA and used for AM. The VCA is modulated with an LFO to add some automation to the patch. And 
one more with the same patch, but another LFO is added, modulating the frequency of the second oscillator to add more movement. And everything is slowed down a lot. I can go on with examples, but I hope the main idea is clear. You can use a VCA and audio rate amplitude modulation to add depth and textures to your patches. So just experiment with your favorite setup. You can learn more about patching a compact synth voice here. And as always, smash that like, subscribe and bell button if you want to see more modular content from me. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.